Hello everybody, Eminem Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron for Turkey. In the last episode, we continued working on kind of our initial development, working through our initial research. Uh, we got our new research slot, um, working through our trees, our focus tree, kind of seeing how things go here. Um, as far as the rest of the world, the German Civil War ended. Uh, the Nazis were defeated. Hitler is dead. Um, the Spanish Civil War is going. It looks like Republican Spain is currently winning. So we'll see how that goes. It'll be very interesting if we don't have a fascist... Uh, Germany, and we don't have a fascist Spain. Not to see how all this goes. France is going communist. Obviously. So, World War II might end up being the Allies versus the Soviets. We'll have to see. That might be interesting. Um, the US, I don't think there's anything odd going on here um we've been working on our intelligence agency so we we actually have some some intelligence we can see what they uh they've worked on continue new deal war plans division war department so yeah they're working through that um any other major nations we might want to take a look at japan uh, what are you doing? Purge. They've, they've obviously taken this option. So what does that give them? Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Sphere. Strike South Doctrine Marco Polo Bridge Incident. It seems like... This might be the kind of standard... Historical process. Yeah, this is the communist tree. Show our restoration. Yeah, this is the the northern plan. Yeah, I think the, I think they're going down the historical tree. Okay. Just wanted to kind of get a good... And, and the Soviets, they started their purges. So, I'm not exactly sure where they're going yet, but we'll see. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, get back to it. And uh, see where things go. We really do need to get our industrial ball rolling. Um, I have been using a lot of our industry to get um, improvements here. And I'm going to keep doing that so we at least have five five um, upgrades. Because then that'll get us an extra operative. Alright, we need some more steel. Let's bring in the steel from... Uh, do I want to do Germany? Soviet Union would be the easiest to bring steel in from. Because, uh, I mean, they're just right across the border, but... I think we'll go Germany. I think we'll, we'll buy some steel from Germany. At least for the time being. At least for the time being. Yeah, we really do need those factories. Let 
But we're working on it. We're going to go down uh, this route and that'll get not only, you know, our bonuses to light tanks, because we're going to be going light tanks uh, and probably mediums. going to shy away from the heavy tanks. I don't think we have the industry for the heavies. At least not yet. Mustafa Kamal Ataturk takes ill. Yesterday, Mustafa Kamal Ataturk was rushed to the hospital in dire state after collapsing unconscious on his yacht while hosting some old friends. The episode is the latest in a series of very concerning signs that Ataturk's health is rapidly deteriorating and advisors have privately expressed their concerns that he is working too hard as his condition becomes progressively more unpredictable. Despite his insistence, insistence that everything is fine, the government is taking it upon itself to monitor the health of Ataturk and is compiling a list of possible measures to take. If Ataturk will not step away from his duties to take care of his ailing constitution, then we may have to consider forcing him to retire so that he can spend his final months with his family. Unlocks the fading father decisions. Uh huh. Seek treatment. Retire him. Okay. Base stability minus 10%. Gains national spirit. And selected. Hold on. Uh, gains the absentee president. Political power gain minus 30%. This is like all bad stuff. Effects are removed. He loses that. we less efficient as a leader due to his ailing health. I think it might be worth retiring him. It'll drop our base stability. Uh, let's do it. Let's, let's try it. No man or woman could ever hope to live up to the mythic heights of Ataturk's leadership, but the father of the Turks remains but a mortal man. We are not looking to replace our Ghazi, just nobody, or for nobody could ever even dream to live up to a nation's messianic founding father. But we must choose the leader that we can trust to follow in Ataturk's footsteps. They must exemplify Kamalist values and follow Ataturk's example as the leader of Turkey. Kazim Orbe will lead the a military junta until we have found our path. All right. Low manpower, not enough manpower for garrisons, resistance. Yeah. All right, there's our Air Force Department. Now, do we have, we have an ongoing operation, right? Yeah, we have an ongoing operation until March. Uh, let's see. These are all unlocked. Anything that is a one-time unlock. Cryptology Department. Blueprint stealing, invisible ink, plastic explosives, suicide pills. Let's go with blue plant. Uh, blue plant? Blueprint stealing. Alright, we got our learning from the Great War. So now I'm, we're going to go with modernizing the army. All right, how goes the Spanish Civil War? Radio. Basic fire control systems. Uh, we'll get radio detection.
There's a couple of isolated pockets of fascist troops. I mean, it looks like the Republicans are winning. The Spanish Republic is winning. Though they're they're very communist at this point. So we shall see where they go. If we get like France and Spain join the common turn, it could make things interesting. I'm still trying to train. Something. All right, there's blueprint stealing. Superior firepower. Dispersed industry. All right. We want to keep working on our superior firepower. And uh, it is 37. Synthetic oil. That might be worth doing. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our improved machine tools. All right. We are recruiting another operative. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and leave any further upgrades off of here until we get more industry available. Initiate counter-fundamentalist operations. Counter the rebels. I could core the states. I'm actually not going to do that because that's from a mod and I don't necessarily want to do that if it monkeys with some of our existing mechanics. Fifty percent chance of getting rebels repelled successfully. A rebel successfully countered. Forty-nine percent chance get rebels to feed our forces. Rebels successfully countered. Okay. Alright, there's modernizing the army. Twenty percent and seventy-nine percent. Yikes. Twenty percent, seventy-nine percent, fifty percent. All right, so we're gonna go for mechanizing the army. Rebels defeat our forces. Okay. in Brazil. Today, Dom Duarte Nuno, Duke of Braganza, married Princess Maria Francisca of Orleans, Orleans, Orleans probably, Braganza, in the Petropolis Cathedral in Brazil. 
This marriage has not only reconciled the Portuguese and Brazilian brigantine houses, but has also united the Miguelists, Miguel, uh, Miguelists and the liberal Braganzas, leaving behind the rivalry between the Portuguese royal family and stirring up the uh, monarchist sentiment in both countries. They said that following the ceremony, Dom Duarte engaged in several conversations with known Brazilian and Portuguese royalist ladies and gentlemen, where the words restoration and monarchy were openly pronounced. Okay. Something's going on there in Brazil. How long are we talking till this is done? 320 days? All right, we have a new operative we can recruit. Let's see, you are a safe cracker. You are an escape artist. Rescue operative cost, drop your rescue operative risk. Uh, let's see. Sure, we'll bring you in. And what we'll have you try and do is root out resistance over here. See if we can help with that at all. Keep everything all together. Uh, all on the same priority level. What I might want to do is edit this, because we don't have any artillery in here. Alright, and what is our combat width? Our combat width is 18. So if I wanted to replace this with some line artillery, I could bring up. Oh, let's see. Let's let's let's. Oh, that would take fifteen. That'll bring us up to 20 width, but we wouldn't have any support. You know, let's at least do it. Let's grab this. All right, infiltrate the civilian administration is completed. What do we get? Outlook. All right, so it's finished. Under cover of very adverse weather, our team found the previously scouted trail and proceeded across the border without further problems. Our agent has made contact with a number of officers who no longer support the current Soviet regime. The team escaped by crossing the border under cover of night, utilizing a local guide to help them find a way through the border defenses. All right. Receive civilian infiltration, political power plus 25. All right. All right, so then you guys... Go ahead and return to building an intel network in the Soviet Union, and then we'll see what we can do from there. We've got a lot of political power available. Let's add someone from the military high command. 
Infantry division attack, infantry division defense. Division recovery rate. Let's go with this guy. Right. And like, we can't send any volunteers, right? Yeah, we need world tension of 40% before we can do that because we're not aligned. So what are you doing? Out of curiosity. Ah, so with that one, we don't know whether they've taken revive the Kaiserreich. Oh, and the death of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. The Republic grieves. War hero, revolutionary president and father of the Turks, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk has passed away peacefully in his sleep. He maintained his duty to the Turkish people and, and the republic he founded up until the very end. Thousands of mourners have paid their respects in Istanbul before his body was transferred by Kaysan ship and train to Ankara. There his state funeral was held with the entire parliament and dignitaries from all over the world in attendance. The father of the modern Turkish nation now gone, the republic must move on. Tazim Orbe was one of many speakers at Ataturk's funeral, and in his speech, he pledged to continue the legacy of the man who had been so vital in securing the nation's freedom. All right, so we remove that national spirit. We still have that disorganized armed forces. There's gotta be a way of getting rid of that. I gotta deal with this in some way, shape, or form. The Mexican junta has declared war on Mexico, so there's a Mexican civil war. And we can't get like an attache or something. We need a hundred political power to do that. All right, there's excavation one. Let's grab construction two. U.S. Congress passes Neutrality Act. With tensions rising around the globe, the U.S. Congress has been the scene of intense discussions about the role of the United States should play, the role the United States should play on the world stage. Many members are concerned that President Franklin Delano Roosevelt might secretly be planning to intervene in a European or Asian war. Some still remember the role the country played in the Great War and are anxious to keep the United States out of foreign entanglements. Eager to shore up the support for his proposed programs of economic reform, President Roosevelt has signed the Neutrality Act into law, which places heavy restrictions on trade with nations at war and specifically prohibits the president from offering any kind of support to other nations. Ask the Belgians how well neutrality defended them in 1914. 
All right, there is radio detection. I guess we'll go ahead and knock out basic fire control systems. Oh, the Hindenburg disaster. So it did blow up. All right. German passenger airship Hindenburg was destroyed today while attempting to dock at the Lakehurst Naval Air Station in the United States. For reasons not yet determined, the airship was engulfed in flames and crashed to the ground, claiming 35 lives. Due to the scarcity and expense of helium and the U.S. ban on exporting it, the Hindenburg, like all German passenger airships, was ultimately engineered to use hydrogen, which provided provides greater lift, but is also flammable. With public faith shaken by this disaster and the rise of much faster passenger aircraft, this could spell the end of the era of airships. Yes. Hindenburg was actually originally designed to use helium. But the United States at the time was basically the only place you could get it. And they refused to export it to Germany. Because it was considered a strategic resource. Because I think that airships could be used for long-range ocean patrols. So, that led to the Germans redesigning it to use hydrogen instead, which actually allowed it to carry more passengers. And then, you know, what happened, happened. All right, dispersed industry two, let's grab that. Uh, yeah, all this does is just postpone it from happening. So, uh, I don't know how useful it is to just continue to burn political power on it. Upgrade. We're gonna need some tungsten, apparently. Oh, because actually now we got those new factories, so that means we're actually making some things. We're now making artillery, which requires some tungsten. We can bring that in from... Bring it in from the British Raj. There we go. All right, so that's done. Actually, we can't go this route. Can we? Because it requires all of that. It requires both of these to make that happen. But this requires that we have taken this route. Okay, so we need to go somewhere else. Uh, let's see. Peace at home. Let's see. Game based ability unlocks decision, initiate counter fundamentalist operation, unlocks decision, offer conscription exemptions to Turkish. Kurdish. Oh my goodness. Kurdish groups. I think that's the route we're gonna go?
All right, so let's go take peace at home. Start that. Yeah, I can change a couple of things there. Let's see, is it going to fail or is it going to succeed? Failed. All right, good. Steel industrial blueprints. So what would that do? And agents will use diplomatic passports in the country and move around. We expect them to be counterintelligence to try and tail them. This is going to be overcome with sufficient training. Our agent will utilize provided references and a doctored CV to gain employment in the middle management in a major company from this position. They should be able to provide information on that company as well as the industry as a whole. One of our submarines will be on station at a designated pickup point along the coast. Timing will be of the essence as enemy naval patrols do cover the area. The risky outlook. Steel plants are a random technology that they have researched and we have not. You know what? Let's see what happens. Looks like that has been a stalemate for a little bit. I mean, they've gotten rid of these small pockets that were in there, but the actual front line hasn't moved all that much. Amelia Earhart circumnavigates the globe, which means that she didn't disappear. The famous aviator Amelia Earhart, known to many as the Queen of the Air, has completed a flight around the world together with her navigator Fred Noonan. After a brief scare, where the pair temporarily got lost while approaching Howland Island in the Pacific, the flight proceeded without incident, and this morning their Lockheed Electra touched down in Oakland, California. The ceremony is to be held in the White House next week, where Earhart is to be personally congratulated for her feat by the President. Quite an achievement, indeed. Ah, we are finally getting some equipment into these divisions. These are 12 width divisions. Ah, that's not great. Oh, well, that is what it is. This is what we've got. Guard! Can I have you guys at least execute? Um, Exercise. Japan has declared war on Shengxi. All right. Yep. They're they're starting things. No, China and Japan are at war. All right. So we finish this. Turkish State Railways. Add infrastructure, add infrastructure. Alright, 
gets the Sadabad Pact. Gain base war support. Political power gain, stability up. Smallest neutrality. I'm going to go ahead and take the Turkish State Railways. We'll work on that. That's prepared. Go ahead and commence. Let's see what comes of that. But I think that will be for next episode, because we're kind of at the end of this one. All right, so we will keep on going here and see what happens. With the war in the Pacific kind of getting rolling here. France. Yep, is working down this whole tree here. Not sure what they've all got, but we'll see. Does that tell me what they what route they've taken? Autarky. No. This is just uh their industrial tree they're going down. Okay. Alright, but for now, we'll go ahead and stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.